I'm talking about eating now, one of the other six foundational factors, which is uh, really, really important, obviously. If you're not eating the right foods, you're not going to be thinking correctly, you're not going to be moving your body correctly, you're not going to be strengthening your ligaments, joints and tendons, and you're not going to be energising your body properly. You know, we all walk around the streets and we see people with big uh, uh, bellies, and which are not in shape, and that's caused by, you know, eating lots of sugar that gives them a rapid high, followed by a rapid crash that makes them gain weight around the midsection. The other thing that it shows is that uh, they're not eating the right combinations of food for their type. So you need to eat according to your metabolic type. When you're eating according to your metabolic type, you'll get optimization of cells, you'll get optimum nutrition, you'll have optimum energy levels, you'll feel much, much better in yourself. And the other thing is, is that you'll feel very, very lean. Could you maybe just tell us a bit more what metabolic typing is? Right, metabolic typing is a system that Bill Wilcott uh, researched over a, a period of 30 years. And in that time over 30 years, he found that, that when people were in a certain tribe and they, according to their tribe, there was no illnesses, there was no disease, and there was no teeth cavities at all. So with this system of metabolic typing, you go online, you fill out a questionnaire, that tells you what type you are, whether you're a fast oxidizer, slow oxidizer, or a mixed oxidizer. But there is essentially 12 different metabolic types. When you find out what your metabolic type is, and you include it with good exercise and good eating protocols, you lose weight mega, mega quickly, and your energy levels change, your muscle tone changes, you feel leaner, you look younger. Uh, there's so many positive benefits to, to metabolic typing. I, I urge you all out there today to go and get metabolically typed in which for you to find out what type you are so you eat according to where you come from or according to what your body needs. You know, if you look at the, the Atkins diet or the Pritikin diet, all these diets uh, are not really looking at blood chemistry, they're not looking at where you come from, your ethnic background, they're not looking at muscle type and body types and how your parasympathetic and sympathetic sides of the nervous system uh, use up energy and how to detoxify you. So when you do the metabolic typing diet, if you see a metabolic typing practitioner, the first thing they'll get you to do, they'll get you on a good detox to clean the whole system out. And then they'll educate you about organic foods and the best type of foods to buy in which to, to balance the whole system. So to sum up, Scott, what do you say about nutrition and the effects uh, so on holistic health? So with nutrition, health? I'd say uh, not all diets are right. There's a gazillion books about diet. So make sure that you research and you study about diet and if you're going to get a trainer or a nutritionist to look after you don't go and see a nutritionist that's big and fat and out of shape because obviously they're not practicing what they preach if you go and see a check trainer or somebody that really knows about metabolic typing like a metabolic typing practitioner they should be in awesome shape if they're not go and see somebody else i urge you to make sure that you see the right people